Yo, what's going on guys, Hey Grouch here, and today we have the first video in a new anime series we're going to cover on this channel, Durarara. Now, I've seen this series suggested in the comments a lot, so I'm glad I was finally able to get one out for you. So today, we're going to be counting down 10 facts about Izaya Urahara, who also just happens to be my favorite character in the series. Let's get started. Like many characters in anime, Izaya Urahara has a number of hidden meanings relating to his name. For starters, his name is inspired by the biblical prophet Isaiah, who is regarded as one of the greatest. The Japanese meaning for it is the one who looks over the crowd, which honestly fits him perfectly if you ask me. His last name, Orihara, may mean folding field, which is a reference to his signature weapon, the folding field knife. Although it's not yet been shown, Isaiah's passion for human observation is stated to have been sparked after an attempt of analyzing people through their preferences and preparation of food. Which if you ask me is kind of weird and not really what I was expecting to hear, but whatever works for you. His favorite food is fatty tuna and prefers things that taste bitter. He also dislikes sweets and conserved food. Some other interesting things about him is that he is able to speak both in Russian and English pretty fluently. He is also afraid of dogs and is both ticklish and a light sleeper. He is also an atheist as he believes that there is not enough proof to convince him of there being a god. He dislikes drinking and participating in activities that would be considered vulgar. I find that kind of hard to believe. He also has PTSD and dislikes the character Shizuo, as well as looking into the eyes of dead fish. Yeah. In the novel, it is stated by Mikado that Isaiah's appearance is rather odd for a man of his age. For those who are unaware, Isaiah is around 23 years old, ignore short stature. Mikado regards his style as different since Isaiah doesn't seem to find an interest in appealing to culture fashion. In the anime, his coat is about as long as his hips, however in the novels, most of the artworks depicts his coat as reaching his ankles, while the manga sits somewhere in between the two. All I want to know is where I can get myself one of those sick ass trenches. Isaiah is pretty well known as one of the most powerful men in Ikebukuro, although the title for strongest individual, at least in terms of brute strength, obviously belongs to Shizuo Hyojima. Even so, he is able to stand his own against them by using methods other than physical force to outdo him. So as to who is the most powerful overall, I'll have to leave up to debate. In one of the Bakuno light novels, one of the characters known as Bride, not sure if that's how you say it, mentions having exchanged information with somebody known as Urihara of Shingoku. Those who are familiar with both series will know that this is obviously a reference to Isaiah. So basically, when he's not causing an uproar in Durarara, he's doing some form of illegal business in another series. Isaiah's Japanese voice actor Hiroshi Kamiya also did the voice acting for Hiromi Soma from the anime Working. He is mostly known for his ability of finding out people's secrets and blackmailing them to do his bidding, which if you ask me is very similar to Isaiah's ability of gathering information on others and which he can later use against them. Apparently Hiromi also liked to observe people when he was a kid, similar to Isaiah. He has even stated at one point that cell phones are a wonderful thing, something that Isaiah is known to have multiple of. Speaking of Isaiah's voice actors, both his English and Japanese are pretty well known in the anime community. Hiroshi Kamiya is also the voice of Levi from Attack on Titan, Mephistopheles from Blue Exorcist, and Yeda from Noragami. Gonna say this now, I only got to like episode 2 for both those animes, so don't get mad at me if I didn't say any of those names right. While his English voice actor Johnny Young Bosch voices Julius Kingsley from Code Geass, Jonathan Joseph from JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, Sasori from Naruto Shippuden, Ichigo Kurosaki from Bleach, and Yukio Okumaru from Blue Exorcist. Those are some pretty impressive names, and that's only including the names of the series that I actually know about. A fan of Durarara once asked series creator Ryogo Narada if Isaiah had ever had any past love experiences. He responded by saying that if he were to answer that question, it would be a bit of a spoiler. This left many fans wondering that perhaps it was the character Nami. It was later stated that Isaiah views Nami as a housewife rather than a friend, 
but holds no romantic feelings towards her, even going so far as to call her an awful person. In the novels, he himself mentions that he does not hold any attraction for any individual, dubbing himself asexual, though there are slight hints that point that he may have had something with the character Mikage back when they were in high school. It is suspected that she is the one Narita mentioned before. It is confirmed that Isaiah's eye color are supposed to be a reddish brownish color. However, sometimes in the anime, they appear as just brown, as seen in episode 3. And although it's only a slight difference now that I look back, it's still enough to make him look a little less menacing. As I'm sure most of you already know, Isaiah likes to call Shizuo by the nickname Shizu-chan. However, something you may not have known is that Isaiah wasn't actually the one to come up with this name. You see, the first time he ever heard of Shizuo was from a girl who used to go to the same elementary school as him and for whatever reason she chose to call him by that name. Since he had never seen him for himself, he simply suspected Shizuo of being a girl. Maybe that's why he hates his gut so much. And there you have it guys, 10 facts about Izaya Urihara. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this video today and made it to the end. If you did, go ahead and let me know by commenting the word people down below. It'll definitely confuse anyone who's just scrolling through the comments in the middle of the video. I wanted to quickly say that there was a bit more information on Izaya that I could have shared. However, I decided to save that for a future video, which by the way will be coming out sooner than later. So subscribe if you haven't already for more Durarara content. If you like the stuff I make here on YouTube and would like to support me during this time of YouTube spiraling into an endless abyss, you can check the links to my Patreon or Teespring, which can both be found in the description. A big thanks to those who have supported me so far, and with that being said, I will see you guys in the next video. See ya!